drop the dun dun dun. Hey, don't drop the dun dun dun. Don't drop the dun dun dun. Hey, don't drop the dun dun dun. Don't drop the dun dun dun. Don't drop the dun dun dun. Hey. What up, as the fuck? What up, as the fam? And I'm back with another video. Whoa. Um, this video probably not gonna be too long. I'm putting away my laundry, but what up? I don't know what happened, but I went to grab me a shake. Uh, gonna have this be my lunch. I am a little bit hungry, so I'll probably eat this in a granola bar. I'm trying, but anyway, so. I'm here. Um, I just came back from the laundry. I got a few packages. And this one was, oop, I don't know. Broke the damn bag it came in. A little hair, a little hair unit, a little hair unit. <laughs> I didn't end up using this hair piece. I didn't like it. I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet, but she gonna come out to play up in this motherfucker zone. What do people be buying to darken the scalp a little bit? Because, you know, that's the scalp of a white woman. No offense against white people. They just put the scalp of a white woman on a wig. And, you know, I'm African-American. I need African-American scalp to match how my scalp would look. Well, this wig I ain't got to worry about because it don't have no part. But they put the little part. I forgot. I don't know what people be using to make it a little darker. I don't know what color. Anyway, she might come out to play this week. <laughs> no, you bitches. Um, I don't know if I like it yet. I ain't tried it on. So, about what it got two combs here and one comb in the back. It came with it, and um, then it got a little card. They give me a little card. So, if y'all see me with it and y'all like the way it look. This is the company, but it was off Amazon, so I'll link it. Oh, they got a little heart note. I'm glad they put it over the, the wig lady's face because she be wilding with her face expression. Y'all know the lady on the, st the stocking cap. She be wilding with her face expression. I'll be like, what's wrong with sis? It says, it's my honor to serve you. Thank you so much for purchasing at our shop with best wishes. See, stuff like this, I love stuff like that because that's really sweet. I love personalized things like that that's sweet all right anyway so that's that i'm gonna pop this open and talk to you guys because january i mean january june 19th was a special day well it's special because it's in honor of my grandmother my grandmother passed away on i don't know if the camera is focusing or not hold up I don't know if you can see it. Passed away on June 19th of 2014. This is her card from the funeral. And um, me and my grandmother was the best of friends. Um, we still the best of friends, you know. She comes to me in my dreams. She comes to me in my dreams. Well, I just came back from the laundry, so I'm just taking this stuff out. So comes to me in my dreams. And um, she's still here with me. As y'all could probably see uh, over there, let me see if I can point to it. Right there is her picture collage that I have up by my kitchen table. Probably seen it in the background a couple times. Um, yeah, that was the hardest day of my life. Um, it was the hardest day of my life because I took care of my grandmother for a long time and uh, until she passed away and you know she was just such a joy um i look like my grandma she has like a pudgy nose like me but she has the green eyes of course i'm going to search some pictures and videos and things like that into here but she just was amazing and uh, it's really hard to be without her but i'm so glad that she's at peace you know unfortunately we can't all live forever but i still talk to my grandma on her birthday i usually blow out a candle for her 
Last year, I put a cake, filled out a card, and propped her picture up and sent birthday wishes and prayers to her. The memorial, I really don't do too much for the memorial, but I do, um, what you call it? I do this year, just doing this video, saying a few words about my grandma. Um, we found out a bitch about to get choked up. <laughs> um, she just was somebody that was irreplaceable. She loved to sing and hum along with me. She loved when I sing. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Hey, don't drop that dun dun dun. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Hey, don't drop that dun dun dun. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Don't drop that dun dun Hey. She always hyped me up. I would have one like the most basic shit. I'd be like, Grandma, look what I'm gonna wear today. She'd be like, ah, you know, like, and she just would be so impressed by it. Like, give me that boost. Just always gave me that, that love and encouragement, you know. And when times got hard, she used to always say, I wish I could help you more. And I'm like, you already helped me by being here. You know, when people get older, they done serve their time. They done pay their dues, especially if they done had their own family, had their own kids, look out for kids and grandkids. It's be time for them to relax. So I know you hear me in heaven, Grandma, saying I would have never had it any other way. I would have never had it any other way in my life than to be right by your side to the very end and doing everything I could. It got a little bit hard as I, when I got pregnant with my daughter and then, you know, doing both things. But shout out to the, the home attendants that were great to her. She had a, a few that were really great to her and the, the two that were with her to the last, you know, bit of her life really come in essential like these people with these jobs are underappreciated because when you have somebody that you i done ran into a couple of bozos but when you have somebody that you could really trust and that really helps your family member down and you got all these personal problems going on they kind of become a friend a friend they really do you know what i mean so <clears throat> it only made me stronger and my grandmother you know she made me who i am today she's the reason i have such a good heart that sometimes i cannot stand the fact that i do but you know it comes in handy for those who deserve my good heart so you know <clears throat> i'll be trying to think of other ways to honor my grandmother and um i just don't know you know i had the little chain made the little amazon i want to get a real one a real dope one that was kind of just a sample because I just wanted something really quick and I wanted to see how it was going to look. But um, I want to get a real one, or a really dope, real chain. You know how the celebrities get, but not like them. I ain't got that money like them, but just a real one, you know, a real gold one. Because that one was a little one I got from Amazon. Just a little something, something. So, you know, of course I want a real one with her face. I have recently, I don't know if y'all can see, this is... I don't know how to show it. Okay, yeah. That's a weird position. This is her birthday. They actually... Okay, so this tattoo is my grandmother's birthday. The number's 10, 19, then 32 is her birthday. They actually messed up the last number. It's supposed to be XX and then the II symbol, but they messed it up. Long story. They actually did this last one wrong. It was a big situation with the paper. He thought I wanted it as a line, as usually people usually get it, but I wanted it 10, 19, 32. This is supposed to be XX11 to make 32. That's her birthday. This is my grandmother's birthday. But anyway, so, um, you know, I just <clears throat> really always love my grandmother and honor the things that she taught me. She told me to be strong, to be honest, to be a good person give out the energy that you want back and just live your best life and be happy appreciate yourself and don't tolerate no bullshit you don't have to so you know my grandmother loved her red lipstick so i used to always get her the red lipstick um so many memories uh, most of my friends have met my grandmother most of my close friends anyway and they knew how funny she was how nice she was and how just a joy she was. Like every time they would come over and see her, 
it was always a funny moment, a nice moment. Because my grandmother, she loved to chop it up, talk her shit, talk about her old stories of with my grandfather and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just something that be feeling unreal when somebody that close to you go, even years later. Especially, like, I'm pretty sure, of course, a lot of you know, unfortunately, how it is to lose a close family member grandparent whatever so it just be a lot but you know they resting in peace and everything like that so it made seven years since she been gone me and my grandmother been through everything together we honestly been through everything together we moved a lot of times a lot of things going on but we always made it through and i always made sure she was good and um i was so glad to have her with me i was so glad to just have my grandmother by my side for as long as i did i i tried my best child i tried to keep her here for as long as i could child. i did everything to make sure she was okay and she knows that so grandma i know you're listening i just want you to know i still love you so much and I miss you so much and hope you're smiling down and looking down on all of your family and your loved ones. And um, it's never the same without you. Like, I still wish you was here now. Sometimes I still can't even believe it. But um, let me tell you what else about my grandma, um, what happened. So much funny things. She wear, of course, her little house robes, her pretty curly hair. I used to do her hair. Get her the clip-ons, her red lipstick. She just used to be just... <laughs> Grandma is the T, okay? Grandma was the T, he, he. Funny, smart, cute, beautiful. Like, my grandmother was the T, okay? Them green eyes. She used to tell me how them green eyes used to get the guys back in the day. <laughs> so, you know, she always told this story how she slapped this bitch in the club that was flirting with my grandfather. <laughs> She loved telling everybody that story. She probably done smacked the lady again in heaven. Ooh, no, nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, she was so funny, so sweet. And um, I still miss her. And I pray, well, I know that she's still guiding me all the way through, you know. She's up there right now with my aunt, my two uncles, and my grandfather. Okay, I just wanted to explain the pic a little bit. Far left, you have my Uncle Larry, my grandfather, my Uncle Chick with the brown leather coat on, my grandmother with the pink on, my mother with the blue short sleeve on, and my aunt with the three-quarter blue sleeve shirt. The only one that still remains living is my mom with the short sleeve shirt on so that's like a family pick so she's not alone you know one daughter left which is my mom so grandma please continue to watch over my mom i'm doing the best i can to help her out as well um and i hope you're proud of me i love you very much and um feel like seven years really feel like it was just yesterday you get what i'm saying but it's been seven years and whew, long time long time to be without you but i love you and the reason i'm making this video is so that i can look back and see it and it's a part of my memory and a part of um just something beautiful I could look back and honor to a few words to you for you know the anniversary of your passing so I hope you're resting in peace and we will meet again on the other side not too soon because <laughs> I ain't trying to go yet but when I get there I'm going to see you Love you, Grandma. Thank y'all for watching. Um, There's just a few words to my grandmother. There's something personal I wanted to share. 
it's not really too much to look in it's not really too much to look in for this video it's just a personal message i wanted to share with everybody to my grandmother that's a part of my own special memory that i could look back on so that's all i wanted to get on here and say thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and um drop a comment down below if you're loving somebody that is in heaven no longer here and missing them and say a few few nice words to them in the comments you know our people are never gone they just on the other side so god bless you grandma i love you and i hope you miss me because i know you do <laughs> but i see you on the other side and continue to rest in peace and thank you for everything you've done for me and my whole entire life i'm still carrying it with me to this day so anyway thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe and um turn your post notifications on so you can know when i post All right, later so just enjoy a few clips that i have here of my grandma and um just want to say love on your loved ones while they're here give people their flowers while they're here because life is short and it isn't promised so i definitely love my grandmother every day so enjoy these few clips this clip you're about to watch is me doing an impersonation of my mom for my grandma because i was so spot on with it so it was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Looking good, mammy, for 83. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, Ava? <laughs> we gonna cook the chicken just now. We gonna cook the chicken just now. We not. We was a little late, but you're gonna have the food for tomorrow. Okay? Gonna have the food for tomorrow. <laughs> Ma, I love you. Happy birthday. Oh, Ma. I love you, all right? We're going to get started on the food now. All right? We're going to get started on the food right now. You're going to have a birthday dinner for tomorrow. Thank you. All right, Ma, you get started. All right. You ain't got no food to start on. Is that a cute <laughs> Do you have to know a lot about math? Oh, you have to learn about budgets. You have to learn about math. Look at him. That's Damn, look at him. That's what you want me to find, Mr. Earl, for you? No. Why are you lying? He got two what? Two women? Women. Oh, snap. Her church bells ringing. Go, Grandma. I heard church bells ringing. What the hell is going on? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs>